Cheryl Ann here again. Part two. I accidentally hit the wrong button when I was stretching to get this material. So this is this is another one. Now this one, let, let me explain this. This is on duck cloth. First of all, it gives it a little more stability because you know I am using Amazon envelopes, which by themselves they are, you know, they are they have they have packing material in here and they're they're really sturdy. But this this also gives it some sturdiness. And then um, I have to glue on each piece. I have to let it set overnight because I can't, I won't put it through my sewing machine with wet glue. So it has to sit overnight. And then I go around the top and the edges and I go every, every piece, <laughs> every piece of patchwork of scrap, it has to be, it has to be sewn down. So it doesn't, you know, come off. But this is, these are really sturdy. What my personal journal that I've been using for a year is I made it like this with different fabrics. And they hold up really well. They do. So um, <laughs> that's the back side. So this will be another one. So I'll have this one. I'll have the rainbow one. And then I'll have the boy one. Hopefully by tomorrow. And like I said in my previous video, if you uh, would like me to do a custom one with colors or theme or motif or uh, age, because I, I tend to, you know, I tend to make these for like preschool through probably second grade. I think, you know, I taught third grade and by third grade, you know, the kids would probably still like it because they're they're really bright and colorful. Um, it just depends on the, it depends on the child, honestly, third grade, they've kind of moved on and fourth grade, forget it. <laughs> you know, they're not interested. Um, so, you know, I do have a lot of, I do have a lot of fabric and colors and oh, this, this netting, <gasps> this one has, has butterflies. Oh, <gasps> I'm thinking, oh my God, I found my stash. So I'm just super excited here so I don't want to I don't want to take too long for this because I have to get back to work and like I said I'm trying to get at least two of these done <clears throat> for tomorrow but um if you'd like me to make you a custom one I have all kinds of paper I have all sizes of paper all sizes of lined paper um, and I did go to the library yesterday. I got 12 more children's books. These are some of the pages are torn out already this morning. Like, look at that one with the, that's kind of cute. Blue. Oh, here it is. It had the castle. Yeah, and it has a poem. So I'm thinking, I'm not going to cut that one up. Uh, that's going to be all one. And then, um, the unicorn oh, that was in a book I'm like oh and look at this we all sing with the same voice I'm thinking that one I might just fold I might just fold that and put it in I don't want to cut that one up oh and here's um this is a double-sided see if they're double-sided I don't like to I don't like to um uh, I don't like to cut them up because then I lose something on the other side. This is about Merlin in the forest. And here's some some little poems of the grateful dragon. They're not they're not all fairy tales and they're not all nursery rhymes. Some of them are really pretty books, but um anyway, um you can you can always email me. I'll have my email address um, listed on here, or you can um, you can communicate with me on my Etsy shop, which is Deserts and Beyond. I'll put a link to it too, if you would like me to make you a custom one. I can do them different sizes too. I love doing the eight by eights, but they take a lot of time because every page I have to extend. See, this is not eight inches. I had my ruler. It's what, five and a half? No. 
it's it's not eight because eight I have to extend the, the page so um, it does take it does take more time to do that one but I, I love that size so like I said if you would like a custom one please get hold of me and we can um, we can figure it out so I have to get back to work <laughs> until next time bye for now